How many of you are familiar with the opera Carmen? Okay, quite a few of you. Okay, well now this is a little bit different. Keep in mind, this is your parents' taxpayer dollars at work, so we're kind of on a budget in terms of the costumes. And, um, you know, a lot of people think, well, opera's really boring. I'm just going to take a little nap now. But we are here to prove that it can be very, very exciting. Now, it involves some audience participation. You're going to have to help us out. Heike is going to have some cue cards for you. And um, she's just going to kind of prompt you. Let's see how you do. Oh, man, that's great. Okay, no, women, it's not like you're screaming, ah, uh, it's like, ah, uh, try that one again. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's, let's see how the men do. Oh, okay, not bad. And so we begin our opera, Carmen. The Dragoons of Alcala, a very handsome man of honor, proud of his military heritage. A gypsy with great flashing eyes and a smile that'll melt your socks off. In fact, every man that meets her falls immediately in love. I thought you'd say that. With all her gypsy charm, she captivates Don Jose, saying in very fine French, Okay, 
Non può venire l'altro se te. E se l'altro che io prefero, non rendi io me plè. Which means, you're kind of cute. far from civilization. Carmen and her friends are dancing wildly at a tavern. <laughs> In walks the ruggedly handsome, world famous, muscle bound bullfighter. His name, his name you ask? Well, it's Roberto Esteban Francisco Montoya Rodriguez Valdez Escamillo. We're just gonna call him Bob. <laughs> he too is deeply, madly in love with Carmen and willing to do whatever it takes to win her heart. Now we soon discover that Carmen has a very, very dark side. She is the leader of a group of gypsy smugglers. The gang is on an expedition in the mountains as she awaits Don Jose, who arrives at her beck and call once again, bewitched by that dark gypsy. She wants him to desert and become a smuggler. <laughs> In the distance, retreat is sounded. Don Jose is torn. 
If he does not return to the barracks, he'll be dishonored, dismissed from the army, a deserter, an outlaw. His military career ended forever. Now, as you may have figured out, it wouldn't be opera if the characters didn't make some really poor decisions, and he decides to stay with Carmen and her band of gypsies. <laughs> right, well, you guessed it. This setup just isn't working out for Don Jose. He is miserable. He gave it all up for her, and now she treats him like a piece of yeah. Meanwhile, the gypsies are surveying the mountains for custom guards, and then Roberto Esteban, Franz Bob, I mean, well, he enters, searching for his love, Carmen, only to find his rival, Don Jose. The men duel, their daggers lunging dangerously close to one another, and then the Toreador's knife snaps. Jose is about to kill him when Carmen rushes in. She's obviously decided she prefers, uh, well, maybe uh, it's the bullfighter she prefers. <laughs> now this is where it gets a bit tragic. We're in the heart of Seville, a dusty, crowded bull ring with thousands of people in excitement in the air. It's the long-awaited day of Bob's bullfight, and the bullfighter arrives with Carmen at his side. Lurking in the archway, looking poor and desolate, is Don Jose. He begs, pleads with Carmen, come away with me, let us begin a new life far from here. Carmen refuses, and then, as you may have guessed, he plunges the knife into Carmen's back, all the while screaming, Carmen, I love you! <laughs> yes! And so our opera has come to an end. Love, passion, jealousy, bullfighting. A typical day for many. Let's review. Carmen is dead. Don Jose gets to prison for life. And Bob... Hey, he runs the mechanical bull at Six Flags. The end. <laughs>